What is up? It's Viral Ed back with another educational video. Please don't forget to chuck us a like down below and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos in the future. Let's get to it. Today we are going to look at the circulatory system. We're going to look at what it is, the three components that make up the circulatory system, and of course what these components actually do. Let's look at what it is first. The circulatory system is the transport system of the body delivering oxygen and nutrients to the cells. It takes away waste, such as carbon dioxide, back to the lungs where it can then be expired out of the body, transports hormones, allowing communication to occur between body parts. Without this, your body couldn't say, hey, pancreas, produce more insulin to convert glucose into glycogen, which can then be stored in the liver. Let's look at what makes up the circulatory system the heart, the blood, and the blood vessels. Now, I know you already know what the heart does, but I'm going to tell you anyway. The heart is the system's pump, and its main job is to pump all five liters of blood around the body through blood vessels to tissues and cells. The heart is located on the left side of the chest, just below the lungs, and is about the size of your fist. The heart has two sides, a left side and a right side. If you look at this diagram, you'll also see the heart has four chambers, two atriums and two ventricles on either side. These play important roles in the pumping of blood around the body. If we look at the blood's route through the heart, it enters through either the superior or inferior vena cava. This blood is deoxygenated, meaning it has no oxygen. It then enters the right atrium, where it is pumped into the right ventricle. From here, it enters the pulmonary artery, where it is sent out of the heart to the lungs to become oxygenated. The blood enters back into the heart through the pulmonary vein, where it is then pumped into the left atrium, then into the left ventricle. The left ventricle is the strongest of all the chambers, and its job is to pump the blood into the aorta, where it can then circulate throughout the whole body. Fun fact, it takes the blood 20 to 30 seconds to make a round trip of your whole body. So if you think the blood being pumped right now is gonna take 20 to 30 seconds to go all the way around your body and back to the heart. Now let's look at the blood. It carries the oxygen and the nutrients the body needs and waste, which it doesn't. The blood is made up of plasma, which is the liquid component in which everything else is suspended. It consists of water, dissolved salts, and proteins. We've got the red blood cells, which contain hemoglobin, which help carry oxygen from the lungs to body tissues. We then have the white blood cells, which are primarily responsible for defending the body against infections. And lastly, platelets. When you cut yourself, have you ever wondered why you stop bleeding after a while? Well, platelets are the reason. They help clot the wound, stopping you from losing any more blood. Lastly, the blood vessels. They are a large network of arteries, veins, capillaries, and arterioles, which are the pathway for blood. If you look at the diagram, the red is the arteries. These carry blood away from the heart. The blue are the veins, which retrieve the deoxygenated blood and return it back to the heart. Okay, now for the overview, to make sure you've all been paying attention. The heart has two sides and four chambers. The blood starts at the right side and pumps through the chambers until it reaches the left ventricle where it is pumped to the rest of the body. It is located on the left side of the chest. We then have the blood, which is made up of plasma, which is the main component which everything else is suspended. We've got red and white blood cells. The red blood cells contain hemoglobin, which assists in carrying oxygen, while white help fight off infections, and lastly platelets assist with blood clotting. Last week, we've got our blood vessels. These are delivery routes for blood to transport nutrients. They're made up of arteries, which carry the blood away from the heart, veins, which carry blood back to the heart. So that is all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out other videos listed in the description below, and I'll see you next time.